Well, good morning, viewers. Sean Foster, General Manager, Eves Real Estate here in the mighty Waikato. With me for the first time this year is uh, uh, Vanessa Taylor, Head of Sales and Marketing from realestate.co.nz. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning, Sean. Thank you so much for having me back. It's great to have you back here. Now, um, as, as some of those viewers that have seen us in the past, um, you know, uh, our chat is about sort of what type of activity is, is occurring in our marketplace. Um, so, look, Look, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you now. So in terms of stock, where are we at? Yeah, fantastic. So like um, we have had a really challenging year, and I think ever since COVID sort of hit our shores, and can you believe it's been one year already, um, we have seen Kiwis have been busy, busy looking in the property market. And I, you know, I say that because I suppose if we've got two loves here in New Zealand, travel and property. And if you take one of those away, we're probably going to focus on the other one. So property has certainly been the, a height of um, chat over the past sort of 12 months. And, you know, what that's meant is that, that houses are flying off the shelf. And if we look specifically in the mighty Waikato, I mean, your stock was back almost 30% year on year. So that is a challenge for those buyers out there. There. But looking specifically in the Hamilton region, your new listings were actually up year on year. So what that means, Sean, is that in February last year, you had 321 homes come onto the market. And this year in February you had 382. So while there is busy vendors out there, they are, as you'll probably see, flying off the shelf just as fast. Is that what you're sort of seeing in your market? Yeah, very much so, very much so. I'm sort of looking at, um, you know, stock levels. They seem to be stagnating at around about um, sort of 400 homes available on the Hamilton marketplace. That really hasn't sort of moved up or down uh, for probably the last uh, uh six weeks so as, as you rightly said even though you, indications are shown that stock levels are, are or sorry new listings have, have increased um, buyer activity is still very very buoyant yeah no and hey look we all know the sort of law of economics don't we that when stock is low and you lovely kiwis are out there snapping up property it does mean that prices increase and um the mighty waikato during february actually saw a 14 year record high to um, just over 689,000. But looking specifically within the Hamilton region, so you're in Hamilton, your average asking price this month was $718,000, which is about 5.6% up on this time last year. And what does that mean? So this time last year, your average asking price for a house was sitting around the $653,000 mark, and that's risen to the $718,000 mark. So there has been a big significant shift in those property prices. And um, yeah, we, yeah, look, residentially wise, um, look, we, we definitely see that through multi-office, through uh, our, our, our auction rooms. Um, a, a big part of our, our marketplace uh, also is, is the love of, of lifestyle. Are you sort of seeing any move in, in that part of our market? Yes, so um, demand is certainly up in, in your district, in your region. And hey, look, who can blame us? There's a 1.5 million of us stuck in our homes up here in Auckland and our sneaky Aucklanders are looking over the Bombays into the Hamilton region. You have a great lifestyle. Beautiful rivers down there. The, the you know surf beaches are not that far away. So, you know, I, who, who can blame us as we're sort of in our second lockdown in a month? But hey, fingers crossed to be out soon. And just one last thing I will say, Sean, is um, it's probably no surprise to you out there, but women are doing the shopping in the Hamilton region. No surprise whatsoever. 70% during February, um, women looking in, at our site. So, yeah, hey, look, if, you know, take advantage of that if you can. Look, I know I speak for uh, us Hamiltonians and probably most of, of New Zealand, and we definitely sort of feel for, for you, uh, you Aucklanders up there. Um, what I do um, hope is that maybe our borders stay in place a little bit longer so we can sort of, you know, get our first home buyers here in the Hamilton marketplace, obviously uh, entering that property ladder. Um, look, look, one final question, which which it is a little bit of uh, crystal ball gazing, and, and look, there, there are people out there a little bit smarter than myself, but we've had changes with, with regards to the Reserve Bank, um, um, you know, they've increased the, the necessity for a deposit to hopefully call the marketplace. Um, mm. any, any predictions from yourself? 
Look, Sean, there are so many factors that um, influence the property market. Where money has never been cheaper to borrow. I think absolutely that shift in the LVR is going to shift a portion of the market who won't be able to buy. But look, there are so many first out home buyers out there that want to get onto the ladder. There are certainly people who are looking to downsize, upsize. And hey, there's actually people who've just got money in the bank thinking, how can I make this work harder for me? And you've, you know, we just talked about the price increases. That's certainly more significant than if you're going to pop it on one or two percent if they're in the bank at the moment so hey look I think there is no silver bullet that's going to help the you know property market out of this sort of frenzy but look I think that is going to help us but goodness you know there's certainly still a lot of demand out there look strong recommendation for those first home buyers look please line your ducks up in a row go and see your financiers all these it's a it's, it's a message we've said before but um you know it still stands strong uh, with us today well vanessa um look that wraps up our property report for uh for, for this month thank you very much uh for your for your knowledge and sharing that with uh, with our viewers awesome thanks sean thanks thanks viewers take care and all the best up there thank you